What's up everyone? Welcome back to Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Remastered. So I found Sheila again, as you can tell. I'm hearing a wapu. Let's go ahead and talk to her. Sheila. Oh, it's you again. A sadness washes over me whenever I see you. I'm reminded of a greedy bandit in Kujarat who took all he could. In the end, all that he loved, his wife, his daughter, and even his own life was taken from him. Okay, so basically that story was about a thief who stole a lot and then ended up losing everything. So now we've met her in North Festamir, Jelton, North Point, Awapu, Mirsaberg, and Arafont. Alright, so... You remember when we accepted the Assassin's Guild? I think we accepted it, right? Now let me see. Yeah, the Assassin's Guild. I could use the Aid of the Thieves Guild. We already got the Aid of the Thieves Guild. Um... Uh, yeah. So we can go do that now. Um, we could probably also buy the, or not buy, but we can get the ice sword. Uh, we have to do something pretty bad though to get it. <laughs> um, but, yeah, we could get that as well. I'll probably wait to get that, though, until last. I'm not really too concerned about that right now. Uh, we could also do Water Dragon right as well. Um, I haven't done that yet. I could have done that a long time ago. But I haven't got around to it yet. Typically, when I... When I play this game, I like... There's, like, so many quests that pop in my, br in my head, right? I usually just do the first one that pops up. And the one that's popping up now is the Assassin's Guild. Even though there's some easier quests we can do, like Water Dragon Right. It'd probably be easier than that. But I'm just going to go ahead and do the uh, Assassin's Guild. We have to go to an area that's kind of a little bit of a hassle, but we'll be able to figure it out. I think we have to sleep here at the inn. If I'm not mistaken. And some I think we get attacked or something. Hello. I could be wrong though. Die. Yep, here we go. I was right. I remember this. Yep, so we get attacked by an assassin. I'm just gonna do regular attack. Screw it. There we go. The easy battle. Who are you? For the guild? Uh, no, I, I don't want to die. Ah. Uh. Uh. Why did you do this? Uh, West. Uh, of. Tarmita. Uh. Assassin's Guild. Yep, there we go. Dang. That poor dude. Like, I know he's an assassin, but he's like, I don't want to die. <laughs> Felt kind of a little bit bad for him there. Alright, so the Assassin's Guild. I gotta remember how this area works. Ah, oh, crap. We got a... Uh, Lamia there I need to get rid of. Let's go all out for the first turn because I need to get rid of that Lamia.
Oh yeah, by the way, in, in between episodes I learned Kaleidoscope for Jamil. I, on my way out from, on my way back from the jungle I learned it. So, yeah, we're good on that. It's very nice that he has that. Okay, she only used Black Cloud. That's not so bad. Kaleidoscope's one of, uh, one of my favorite moves in the game. I just like, I just love Blitz though. I mean, Blitz and Jackhammer are like my two favorite attacks. But yeah, Kaleidoscope's like way better obviously, but... I'm honestly not the biggest fan of like the top tier attacks in this game. And by the way, Jackhammer is not even top tier. It's rank four. It's a rank four skill, but it does do a lot of dam it does do a ridiculous amount of damage. But uh, it's not top tier. I've actually never learnt the top tier uh, martial art skill either. Oh crap, someone died there. By the way, I also got uh, Albert's uh, Cosmo All Gypped level 4. Bring back to Mill there. Before killing the enemy, because I wanted them to get stats up. If a character's dead, they will not gain any stats, so. Keep that in mind. Oh, come on, learn some new techniques. Vitality Compassion, Strength Compassion, Glamorous Ring. Strength actually does matter for Jamil in this playthrough. Usually I have him use a foil. But he's using Skimitar, which is, I think, based on strength, if I'm not mistaken. I, th I think its damage is based off strength. Here's one for you. I wanted him to be a I wanted him to be a thug, because it's a new class, so I had I had to make him a thug. I'm using Monica as well. Next playthrough, I'm planning to get another, other. Wow, if I could, I, I, oh my God, I'm like failing so bad right now. Let me speak correctly. In the next playthrough, I'll recruit another new character. Man, my, I swear I know English, guys. <laughs> English is in fact my first language and only language. I don't usually fail that bad though. That was pretty bad. Anyway, you got these like... I think this is the way we have to go, right? We just follow this, I think. I don't remember how the gimmick works. I know there's a gimmick to it, but I don't remember how it works. Oh, that was weird. Albert, like... I like he was, like... Like, squatted or whatever. After he blocked that one enemy's attack. The 
can barely hear my TV because I actually have like an air pu I have an air purifier and um I have it on right now and it's like pretty loud. I can't even hear my TV. Nah, don't paralyze me, the annoying enemy. Who's about to die here? Gelaha, okay. We'll heal Gelaha then. I'll have him heal himself there. BP intellect, willpower. here in this area is pretty easy especially if you have AoE you have to fight multiple there's multiple enemies in the fight uh, if you come here with AoE it would be good though the more AoE the better for this particular boss that will be fighting later holy crap Four wing lizards? Are you serious? Uh, no thank you. Holy moly. That's insane. Wow. I ain't never fought four of those in one battle. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely insane. That would have been a game over. If there ever was a, if there ever was a battle to give you a game over, that would be it. Like holy crap, that is insane. It's like the, it's like the game wanted us to die. Luckily, I could retreat. Okay, at least there's not a... Four of those winged lizards at that time. Bone Crusher, Maim. Now let's see what else I want to do here. Sonic Slash, and then one, two, three. Believe it or not, I'd rather have her use um, that attack than her Nightmare. Nightmare is the dangerous attack that, she, that the Lamia has. I'm not really concerned about the shockwave attack. Yeah, it does a lot of damage, but it's not... It's not as bad as Nightmare.
Oh, Albert's about dead. Maybe I should have healed him there. Oh, we're good. Oh, another Fang Amulet there. Okay, only one lizard. That's more better. Four of them things. Are you serious? I would have got totally wrecked in that fight. Like, not, I'm not even kidding. They would have wrecked me. Okay, this is the path we gotta go now. Get rid of the Lamia. Great, she's using Nightmare, I think. Nope, just Black Cloud. Black Cloud's not so bad. All it does is inflict darkness. I think, I think that's all it does. Might do something else too, though. Holy crap, guys! We reached max event. We're max event rank. Beast Fang. Passion for Gilaha. Alright, give her the Lamia. Better not deal with her. She's gonna do Nightmare. I wanna do a playthrough where um where I've got a character that can do um Necroman sorcerer and necromancy. That was not in the original PS2 game. Whoops. Didn't know my own strength. Good work, everyone. Guys, I'm really bad at learning skills. Anything involving luck is always going to be bad for me. And learning skills is all about luck. Because I'm never lucky, so... Never once in my entire life have I ever been lucky. Obviously I'm kidding about that, but... I am getting unlucky in this in this playthrough, us for sure. I'm not learning any new techniques. It's probably because we're only like uh, it's probably because we're like level four of our weapons. Level five, you probably learn skills very fast. It's all about the enemy that you fight too. If 
fight all these weak enemies. You're not going to get anything. Alright, we gotta go straight ahead this time. Okay, Infernal Condors aren't so bad. Well, unless they all... Unless we go unconscious. <laughs> Which all their attacks have a chance to do. Okay, now where's the glowy thing at? Monica, yeah, Monica needs healing. Passion and willpower for J passion for Albert and willpower for Jamil. Yeah, I'm going to do AoE here. Oh, Jamil got... Or my, not Jamil, but... uh, Sif got interrupted there. Jamil died.
Vitality and compassion. Jamil got vitality too. Alright, let's go. We gotta go this way now. Yeah, we just keep following these lights and then eventually we'll get to the end of this place. Alright, now the light's in the middle, so we go straight. Got a hunting bow there. Make a little bit of money for that. Surely there's more to your existence than fighting. Just intellect, that's useless. For them two anyway. Well actually for my whole party, really. How many magic users magic users in my party like I normally do. I usually like to have at least one mage, but I didn't in this playthrough. Crap, Monica took a lot of damage there. Heal her up some. Good work, everyone. HP and BP. Charisma and agility for Galaha. Yeah, <laughs> keep going straight ahead, bird. It's pretty easy to dodge the birds anyway. Okay, we have to go down this time. Probably getting close to the end of this place. Okay, now we go left.
Didn't really mean to heal there, but it's okay. I'm going to fight a lot of battles here. Okay, killed that one. Got a couple more left. I'm getting tired of fighting these elementals and stuff over and over again. I think I'm doing this wrong though. Like, for some reason, we haven't reached our destination yet, and I think we should have by now. I'm going to start doing regular attacks again, like strong attacks, because I'm tired of, like, taking so long to kill these enemies. We're not learning anything anyway. So I'm going to start doing heart strong attacks now. Like switch back. Cletoscope. Stuff like that. You know. Thunder kick. Stuff like that. That way I ain't got to be here all day fighting these enemies. But I think I'm doing this wrong. I thought I was supposed to just follow the lights, but I might be wrong about that. Yeah, we'll defeat the enemies a lot quicker now. Especially with Fleetoscope. That attack's insane. Charisma and HP for Galaha. Gal's up to 525 hit points. Oh, okay, here we go. We made it. Okay, so you are supposed to follow the lights. Alright.
All right. Yes. Welcome to our paradise. The world outside is all wrong. We fight to make every corner of the world into a paradise, a perfect utopia. But that's not going to happen. You must become one of us. You and everything about this place are nothing but illusions. You rule through temptation and fear. That is certainly no paradise. All right, it's boss time. Against. Let me slow it down here. Assassin leader, two assassins, and two mage assassins. Now they're going to like... They're going to transform here in a second. We'll do sword belly. We're going to do a bunch of AoE. We're going to do... Rolling slash. We're going to do... Rolling slash with him as well. I don't think she has sword ballet. Nope. She doesn't have any AoE at all. I guess I'll do switch back. And then obviously Gelaha doesn't have any AoE either. Yep, see? They all transformed in like... Gargoyles and mummies, but they're not exactly called that. They're not the same enemy as the gargoyles and the mummies. They're harder, they're stronger than the gargoyles and mummies. They have the same attacks though, but they just have more hit points and everything. They don't appear to have much attack power though, so they might actually be weaker than the <clears throat> gargoyles and mummies. But yeah, AoE is the way to go in this fight. If you don't have AoE, just target, defeat one of them at a time. Go out to the underlings first. Probably one more round of AoE, I'll to finish them off. At least the underlings anyway. This battle would be ridiculously hard if they actually did more damage. But because they do so low damage, they're not, this isn't that hard of a battle. One more underling left and then the boss. Alright, there goes all the underlings. Now we just gotta take out that enemy. Which is just a weaker Lamia. I'm gonna do weak attacks now. Try to maybe learn something, maybe. Who knows? Probably too weak to learn these skills from, but might get lucky. <clears throat> gold and jewels, 63 gold and 52 jewels. We're defeating that boss. All right. And for <clears throat> completing that, you get 258 jewels. So much for the terrible guild of assassins, those inept idiots. You were behind this, weren't you? Back to the drawing board for sowing chaos in Kujarat. Who are you? Answer me! Get back, you meddlesome insects. Be glad I'm sparing you. 
for now. Please, I'll tuck you out if we would have battled. Alright. Destroyed the Assassin's Guild. We're not done here yet because there's chests we can get here, I remember. Do we have to go back through here or. I forget how to get to the chest. It's gonna run from the enemies. I know there's chests you can get here. I should have brought pick locks. I think we might need pick locks. I'm not sure how to get to the chest though. But I know you can get chests in that in that in this area. I'll come back. Um I'll come back and do that. Uh I wanna I maybe should have did it on the way through, go to the other paths and get the chests. I'm going to put on disarm traps and pick locks, because I'm pretty sure we need those. Hello, will you be staying with us tonight? I need to actually look up where the chests are at and how to get to them though, because I don't remember. So I'm going to do that real quick and I'll be right back and we'll go get the chest in the Assassin's Guild. First, I guess we go turn in the quest to uh, in South Estamir. I think in here, right? Hey, there's Sheila again. Save it first. One for the road. Now right, let's talk to Sheila then. Sheila. Oh, it's you again. A sadness washes over me whenever I see you. I'm reminded of a Valhallen sorceress. One year she predicted bountiful hunting, but there was little game. Many villagers died of starvation and the sorceress became the scapegoat. All right, so Go back to the Assassin's Guild here. We have to go up three times and left once to get to the chest. I'm going to go ahead and fight these enemies, I guess. And I wish she would learn a new technique. Wish everybody would learn a new technique, honestly, but... Doesn't seem to happen. Oops. Oop, shimmering slash. Not that good though, honestly, but it's a new technique. Thing 
All right, let's finish these enemies off quickly here. Thought it'd be easy. I don't know about the second fight, but this fight will be. Yeah, this fight's easy too. All right, so up three, up three times, and then left. So up, up. I don't know how I managed to dodge all those enemies that time, but that was pretty lucky. I'm go up one more time here and then left. Ah, oh, crap. Let me kill that slime. Hate those slimes. Oh, more BP for Albert. He got BP twice in a row, I think. He's up to six. Every round he gets six now. So if I use Moonbeam, he actually gains two. That's typically what you want to. You want to use skills where you gain BP. Oh, flashback. All right, now we want to go left. On this next path, and that'll lead to the chest. I mustn't turn from the enemy, no matter how mighty. Sticky string. Okay, here's where we want to be. Up oh, there, rigged. Oh, that's fine as long as the item doesn't break. Silent Greaves. Sacrifices defense for increased dexterity and agility. Okay. Is that all that's here? Hmm. Well, let's head back then. Alright, guys. That'll be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. There might actually have been more chests there. I know there's like two other rooms that you can go in. Uh, uh, well, we already actually we already went to the headquarters. There's a ceremonial room you can go in as well. But I don't think there's any point in going in that, right?
Isn't that for that one character? Alright, well anyway, I'm in the video here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.